Hello. Hello, hello. Hey, hi everyone. It's uh, Friday, TGIF to uh, all of those that are working. Um, I just thought I would pop on and uh, give you a little sunshine for your weekend. I'm going to Um, give you a little sunshine for your weekend and would uh, would like to show you how to make this card that we have uh, featured in the video. So I am going to switch and say hello. How are you? I hope you're doing good and I hope you have a fun weekend planned. It's Memorial Weekend and those of us who are those who are working will get an extra day off. I'm sure you're thrilled about that. So um, Anyway, hello again, and uh, let's get started on showing you how to do this card. So I am going to go ahead and switch to my workspace, and we'll get go ahead and get started. Okay, so um, first thing uh, is I'm going to show you how to, here's the card again, just so you have it, and we are going to use the um, sunflower set. It's called Celebrate Sunflowers. You know what? I borrowed that set. So I'm going to have to read it out for it. Oh, my dear. I don't know where I moved it, but I moved it somewhere and I wanted to show you the stamp set because all these dies coordinate so nicely. And, uh, I borrowed it. I took a step. I took a stamp out of it. That's why. Okay. So here we are. So this is a Celebrate Sunflowers uh, bundle. It's this beautiful set of stamps, and it has these wonderful sayings in it. Four sayings. I love the Let's Celebrate You and Know That You Are Loved. Uh, so I'm going to be using that on plenty of cards. Thanks a bunch. And then congratulations. I'm reaching a whole new level of wonderful. So just to let you know, this beautiful um, sunflower can be cut out using this outline die. The smaller one, there's a die to cut out this smaller one as well. And the leaves, the big leaves, and these images on the front are just a tad smaller. Uh, than what is shown. Uh, it's smaller on the cover than what is shown on the inside. And there is a die for these two leaves here as well. A nice centerpiece for the sunflower, cutting that out and filling in this die. And then these beautiful branches as well. So, and which makes nice accents for your cards. So it's a beautiful combination set. The piece uh, that we're gonna use today, we're gonna use this outline uh, to do the pink on the flower. We're gonna use the outline to cut out the pink, and then we're going to use white to cut out all the detailed lines that you see on the daisy. And we're gonna do the same with the leaves. We're gonna cut out this in granny apple green. And don't you think those two colors look absolutely so fun and bright and cheery together? And, uh, and then we're gonna use the outline leaf in white cardstock. So let me show you how we go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna show you a trick along the way and that is for these detailed dies, I always like to use um, these adhesive sheets on the back, on the cardstock. Um, this is from the current catalog. These are six Sizzix sheets and they are sticky on both sides. Um, so I'll show you how to use those, especially when you have detailed dies, it's very nice to, um, to, to be able to glue down those details. It's a lot, easier than using your glue or your adhesive. So um, I'm gonna show you how to use these sheets. Uh, in the new catalog, the sheets will be exactly the same. They're six inches by 12, but they will not have any um, Sizzix words on them. So that's how they're used. So I'm gonna first, I cut out a piece of this uh, adhesive paper, three and a half by three and a half, which uh, which picks out exactly the, um, the size of the sunflower. And then 
what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my stamparatus out or any kind of tool that actually has a corner to it because this is the best way I've found. I use my scoring tool uh, that I have, my big board. It has a corner as well. And what I like about that is once I, I can lay the paper into the corner and then once I take one side of the adhesive off, the ones with the words on it, and then there's a little tiny strip here and this is awfully sticky. So you wanna keep your fingers away and you wanna keep them away to a minimum. So you take those two pieces off and then you just lay that adhesive in the corner with your cardstock and voila. So that, I find that very easy because sometimes um, even with the, the six by 12, you might want to cover the back of a scrapbook paper 12 by 12 and you've got this massive sheet and you've got to line it up in the corner. Um, I found that using a corner is the best way to put these sheets on and manage the stickiness or it not getting caught in anything else. So there's a little tip for you. Now, I like to keep the time on my videos to a minimum. Um, so what I've done is I, uh, so on one side right now is the adhesive and I'm going to die cut the flower. And I've already done that, pre-done that. Um, and so what you have here is that that die, that uh, the detailed die, cut this, this, this is the die and it cut this out beautifully. Now all the pieces stuck together because I have an adhesive sheet on the back, but they can easily peel away. So what I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you um, how this will come apart because the other advantage of these adhesive sheets is it takes away some of the um, uh, the uh, additional pieces that you don't want. See how it peels away? Most of them they fall out and they don't need it. So on this side right now, it's sticky. And I'm just gonna let the rest of the pieces fall out. And once I have them all out, before I adhere this down, I wanna make sure that all those little circles that we cut out, see those little circles? I wanna make sure that they're all punched out. So I'm gonna do that before I stick it down. I'm gonna punch out those holes. They did not tear away with the, um, with the Sizzix adhesive when we took that off. And so I think I have them all out and I wanna make sure they're not sticking to the back. So I think they're all gone now and we're ready to put this down. Now the best way I found, so now I've got this sunflower. Now, how do I line it up to, to uh, the, the uh, die cut? So I have found, and I can tell which, which way I cut. Um, I know the backside, you can tell the backside because there's a little curve to it, the backside of the die cut. And then the front side is a little more curvy on the edges. I look for these three curved edges. That's my best way for me to line this sunflower up. And I look for the three edges that correspond to that. And they're, let's see if I can show you against the paper here. Um, they're one, two, and three. So I'm going to line those up because uh, I know that those are the only curved, really curved pieces, and I'm going to stick those down first. And the rest of it, I'm just going to go around in a circle and make sure that it hits the edges. And you can lift it just a little and move it just a little as you need to, because it's, it's sticky, but not super sticky. Um, so it's a little bit movable, but it falls into place pretty nicely. And and isn't that nice? What a great way. So now you have got your overlay on your sunflower and it aligns beautifully. And there's no huge sticky gluey mess that you needed to deal with. So isn't that pretty? So that's the, that's the first piece we're gonna to put together. And we're also gonna do the same to the leaves. I cut out two die cut leaves, two leaves. And then I also cut out the two, uh, two uh, outlines and I put the adhesive on the back. So I'm just going to peel it away. It peels away very easy. Here's the uh, throwaway piece. And then I'm just gonna line that up with the front side of my leaf, press it on and voila, one leaf done. And then here's the other leaf. I just pull it away. Uh, you can use your, um, your pickup tool all as well. It's got a sharp edge if you, um, having a hard time at all, if it gets stuck, um, you can use that to, to get in between the pieces. 
and then I'm just going to put that on there. So now we have our sunflower and our two leaves, but I am going to put a little center onto the sunflower in black because I think black looks so great on bright colors. And I'm going to figure out which is the front and which is the back of this. This is the back. So I'm gonna take that dimension, I'm gonna plop it right onto the center there. So now we've got the main piece of our card ready to go. So the next piece of our card, I'm gonna set this aside. Next piece of our card will be to stamp the sentiment. So I've already lined this up on my Stamparatus and um, it is a wonderful tool if you don't have the Stamparatus. One of the things I love about this is because first of all, my stamps, um, the image will always be straight. And if it doesn't ink properly, uh, I can always re-ink it. And um, so there's a number of reasons I love the Stamparatus. Oh my gosh, I think I got green on there. Well, you know what you can do, let me flip that over. So I, you just take this and um, you wanna keep your plate really flat. So you kind of, you can stick one of these stamp sets underneath and then it keeps it flat and keeps the ink from getting around and getting all over your plate. So for this one, I'm just gonna ink it up and I'm using Memento Black ink. So let's celebrate you, what a beautiful saying. So we're gonna stamp that and just stamp that onto our card. And if I didn't like it, I could go ahead and stamp it again, uh, since I have it all lined up in the corner, it's easy to align. So I did 20 of these cards for a swap. So I wanted to make sure they were all perfectly aligned and looked good with the stamping. So what a great way to do that. And um, so I've got this card base. Now, isn't this a beautiful color? This is called Magenta uh, Madness. And it's our, one of our new in colors that are coming in the new catalog, which is really only 12 days away. <laughs> so, so all I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna adhere this piece to the front of the card put our saying on there and I hope that's not a mark oh that's just a little glue and we're going to line that up now if you line up these three edges the rest of it should come out just perfect so if you get an even distribution around all of that and then I suggest burnishing it with your fingers that will give it a better hold and now we're ready to put our sunflower a beautiful statement piece onto our card so using some dimensionals, I'm going to put an open one here. I'm gonna put four dimensionals on the back of this sunflower uh, just to give it some depth. There we go, and we'll take off the backs and we'll adhere it to uh, the center of the card, pretty much. I want a little space for the leaves at the top and I'm actually gonna put a little bow at the bottom. So, here we go. So there's your beautiful sunflower. And even just like that, I love it. It's just such a beautiful uh, statement piece, the, uh, <laughs> the flower. And then I put a glue dot on the back of each of the leaves and I'm gonna kind of tuck them in um, randomly behind the sunflower. Let's see, now where's my other leaf? Must have pushed that other leaf aside. Okay, well, hopefully he'll show up, but you know, you've got the idea, you know that you'll put another leaf in here. So do you have that happen to you? Things just disappear and you know they were right there to begin with. So it happens to me all the time. So I'm not sure where my little leaf went. It was here um, and you saw me put the, oh, here's one, there it is. I found it. So let's go ahead and put that on. I found it. Here we go. So now we've got our sunflower and I make sure that it doesn't, it's just to the edge, it will fit fine into the envelope. Uh, if you have anything hanging off the edge, it's tenuous whether you're gonna um, be able to fit it into the envelope. So, so the next step is I do wanna add a little bow to the bottom and I thought I don't have any green. I used um, granny apple green here and I don't um, have any granny apple green ribbon. So what I'm gonna do is use here is I'm gonna take our 
uh, crinkled seam binding ribbon, which was in the mini catalog and is carrying over to the new catalog. So you can still order this. And what I love about having just plain white ribbon is you can color it whatever color you would like. So in this case, I'm going to use our blend pen called the Dark Granny Apple Green. And this way I can get matching ribbon for my card. And I'm going to use just the side of the painting. Not, I'm not going to use the point because I don't want to ruin the tip. So I just go to the side. That's how you're going to maximize your, your ink flow onto your ribbon. And it's as easy as what I'm doing now. Just run it across. And actually, you don't even have to go to the edge because the, the uh, blend actually bleeds a little bit onto the ribbon and um, it actually reaches the edge. If I don't cover a specific edge, um, I find that the color carried through all the way to the edge. So you need about eight inches to make a bow. So I'm going to just make sure we have enough so I don't have to repeat this step for you. So I think that should be good, good enough. And what's nice about this ribbon is it's, um, it's very light and very airy. So it actually covered both sides. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so now we've got matching ribbon and I'm just gonna tie a bow um, and we're gonna put it on our card. And we're gonna put it on in a different way. We're actually gonna tuck it under the sunflower. So um, I'm gonna cut off the edge here. I'm cut off the edge and I always like to use glue dots with my bows and it seems to be the easiest way and the strongest way to adhere your bow so I just take my glue dot I adhere a glue dot to the bow and then I take my little tool here and I'm going to tuck it up underneath in here so that all I have showing is this little sort of a sprig of a ribbon showing through so that is how I put that card together and you can play with it a little and trim the edges if you'd like, move it around to just the way you like it. Um, so there's the little bow tucked underneath. Um, in my final card though, I, I absolutely had to use these little uh, enamel dots. So in the new catalog are coming enamel dots that match all the new in colors and you can see a preview of these in colors. So this is our um, Magenta Madness and Just Jade and Misty Blue, I think it is, and Cinnamon Cider, and uh, Bumblebee. So beautiful new colors, and the, this one fit perfectly, I thought, on this card. So they are coming as well in 12 days to the new catalog. So uh, let me know how you like the card. Let me know if you had any questions. Uh, this is my first card tutorial, so I love feedback and would love to hear from you. So that's pretty much what I had today. Just to let you know, though, what um, what I have coming up is I do have my masculine card class coming up on June 11th to the 13th. So June 5th is the last day to sign up for that to make sure you get your materials um, by the end of uh, you know in time for the class. So June 5th is the sign up for that, and then on June um, 11th and 13th. I want to show you the card that we're going to make. Uh, so I'm going to switch over. I'm going to show you the card that we're going to make for the new technique, which is going to use the products from the video that uh, from today. So this was another alternative card. Um, uh, this card, I love the pink, and I actually posted on my Facebook asking for votes on the pink versus the brown. I love them both. And so this is the finished card in the brown, espresso brown. I like using different colors. Um, for, you know, then typical for the sunflower. So this is sort of reversed. And uh, this was fun too, but uh, for the swap, I did end up using the pink that one had the highest votes. I also wanted to show you this card. This was using the sunflower outline, but using some designer series paper behind. If you don't want to use solid or you don't feel like coloring in, um, this is a great way to do it as well. So another card. And then also look at here, we have the Let's Celebrate You and it's cut out, fussy cut out. And um, just to show you another trick before we leave today, when I put the stamp and I mounted the stamp onto um, the label onto the stamp, I saved this piece of paper. And so what I use these for is I will stamp the sentiment and then I will lay this little template over the sentiment trace it onto my paper, 
and then cut it out. And that's how you get this beautiful outline for your sentiments. Um, so another trick for you, if, uh, if you like the look of this, which I really do. And then here's the card that we're gonna make in the technique class in June. So I will be posting this uh, today, later today. It will be on my website calendar. You can sign up on any of my social medias and contact me, but this is called the uh, floating gate gatefold card. And so you hear you're going to, my design will be a little bit different. I might have a little bit more color onto the card, but you are going to be using the sunflower and you're going to be able to use those adhesive sheets because when I send you your card kit, you will already have this, the die cuts done and the adhesive sheet on the back. So you can see how wonderful that is. And so when you open it up, you have the sunflower on the inside, and then you have two floating sentiments. So this is called the floating gate fold card, and that class will be um, occurring at the end of June. So think about that. Um, I will put a deadline on that because I need at least a week to get it mailed out to you. So um, hopefully you'll be interested in either of those classes. That would be great to see you and meet you. And um, also as an incentive, our catalog, as I mentioned, goes live in 12 days. So any of the products that you enjoyed today, you can order from me and to, um, and if you would order from me, then I would also give you $10 off your class fee. If you come to class. So a $30 or more order through June. So um, I'd love to uh, share with you some more. I will plan to be here again next week. Um, I hope you guys all have a wonderful Memorial weekend and look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks everyone. Bye.